brain tech here, where tech is made simple. So in this video, we're going to have a quick look at how we can force a dark mode and dark theme on any web page using the Microsoft Edge web browser and the Google Chrome web browser on desktop. Now, the process is very similar in both browsers. And the tool we use is called a rendering tool, which is actually a web development tool. So it's used by developers. Uh, as an example, to see what a web page looks like in different options and different display options. But we can use it um, to um, try out and test a page that only displays in a light theme. And for, for whatever reason, maybe a visual reason, you just need to view that page uh, using a dark mode. Then this, can, uh, this uh, developer tool, the rendering tool, can come in handy. Now, there are a couple of ways on both browsers you can access the rendering tool. Um, but I would say the simplest would be if we just head over to um, a page that has a light theme. And the simplest would be just to right click. And in the right click context menu, you'll see inspect. You click on that. And this opens up the dev tools in a site panel and site pane. And then we head to the top right um, of that uh, those dev tools. And you'll see a three dotted menu called customize and control dev tools. You click on that, head to more tools. And here you'll see rendering. That's the tool we are going to use. Now, another way you can access uh, the rendering tools using Dev Tools in both browsers is by heading to your menu in the top right, heading down to More Tools, and here you'll see Developer Tools. And just click on that, and it takes us to the same Dev Tools panel and pane. And we head to the same three dotted menu. Click on that, More Tools, and just click on Rendering, which will open up the rendering tool here at the bottom. And we need to scroll down to the bottom of the rendering tool. And it says here, enable automatic dark mode, enables automatic dark mode, and sets preferred color scheme to dark mode. So it sets the preferred color scheme to dark. And we click on that. And you'll see it forces dark mode um, in that web page that is um, uh, using light theme by default. Now, it's just important to note uh, that this, these changes are temporary. Um, they are not permanent, and um, as soon as you close the tool, it will revert back to light theme. Um, as uh, developer tools uh, in the browsers are for testing only, so it's not possible to save any changes. But it is handy, as I mentioned, if you say for whatever reason, maybe a visual reason, just would need to view a page in a dark mode and dark theme. But what you can do, um, if you would like to just to get a bit more um, screen real estate, is you can just minimize it and to its, its most minim minimal aspect as possible, its most minimal state. And that will just give you a little bit more screen real estate uh, to uh, view that page in dark mode. And then obviously, if you, uh, if you um, exit the dev tool, you'll notice that it just changes back to light theme straight away. Now, as mentioned, the process is very similar. And just to do a quick example using Google Chrome, head to a page that's got light theme, right click, inspect, that will open up the dev tools. We head to the same three dotted menu, more tools, head down to rendering. And yeah, at the bottom, we just scroll down to where it says enable automatic dark mode. We click on that. And as you can see, once again, and we can also minimize that to its most minimized state. And there we have uh, the page um, that was uh, using the light theme by default now forced to use a dark mode. And the same applies if you exit out of that. The changes are not permanent. They are only temporary. But as mentioned, it's quite handy if you just need to view a page using a dark mode if that option is not available. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.